Shalom, shalom. Hey, shalom, shalom. Hey, we the brothers from the GMS Cleveland Church back in the spirit. We hope we pray this edifying lesson. First and foremost, we want to give all glory on the praises to Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Chachadash, the bond of city apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom, la chasad, la habachior. Peace and mercy to the elect. Um, you know, we're back in the spirit, me and the brother Amar. You know, doing just a quick in transit. Uh, the brother had something on his spirit in particular. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the spirit, the, the, the scriptures that came to the brother was, uh, in particular, was uh, Job. Yep. You know, um, and if you want to expound more, you can. You yeah, kind of. Um, so, you know, you know, basically, you know what I'm saying? Brothers already know, man, like, when you read the book of Job and what happened to Job's family and Job himself, it's really just a, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a greater, um, how can I put it? Example of the elect, you know what I'm saying? If you will, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? For lack of a better uh, words. Right. Like, because Job, obviously, that was a man, you know what I'm saying? Our forefather that actually existed, but he he represents the elect in, in, in a way, you know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. he was tried in all these different uh, situations, and he he still maintained his integrity throughout every temptation and every uh, situation he was in. Uh -huh. So, we just want to get into that, like, just concerning, like, our situations, like whatever brothers got, brothers and sisters guys going on, and um, how we gonna be like tempted and tried, and um, how we gonna be in situations where we feel like you know the Lord is working against us, but that's all to purge us from uh, whatever things the Lord wants to purge us from. You know what I'm uh -huh. So we're gonna get into the first chapter. We're gonna read the whole chapter. It's not a long read, and then uh, we're gonna read a, a little bit of the second chapter. So you know. yep, it's Joel one and one. He said, there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. He says, and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared the heavenly father and eschewed evil. Right. He was perfect and upright. Like, like it pretty much goes into what it was talking about, like how Job, he was the one that feared Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And then it proceeded to say he eschewed evil. I mean, he shunned it. You know what I'm saying? He, he, didn't, he didn't like evil. He didn't like wickedness. And that's the same uh, um, feelings you know what I'm saying? And sentiment that we hold, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Brothers hate wickedness, man. Like now that we on now that we on our uh you know, the Lord has got us upright and we in our right mind, we don't want nothing to do with wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why yeah. brothers have such a passion towards uh like uh, uh um shunning that shit and just pretty much rebuking it, man. So yeah. we in the same spirit as Job, man. You got it. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get this word uh you skew and go back to the Hebrew word uh sor sewer. Strong's H fifty four ninety-three. Sur. 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 It says to turn off, uh, depart, um, remove, take away, take away, turn aside, withdraw, be without, revolt. Mm, yeah, so he was revolting. Against what evil, evil yep. wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? That, like I said, this is what leads brothers to have that passion towards, uh, like I said, shunning evil, man. It's just saying songs that you that love the Lord, uh, hate, uh, hate evil, man. Yeah, you got it. It say reject, abolish. Come on, man. Yup. But we, we and like I said, we rejecting, we're rejecting, uh, uh, uh we're rejecting wickedness, man. Because Esau, you know. This nigga is trying to push wickedness down your, uh, down our throat, so to speak, man. Mm -hmm. Everything about this system, he's pushing it upon you, even though you're not, even though you're you're not with it. Like you might be a so-called neutral individual on some of these topics and, and, uh, and uh, speaking points. You know what I'm saying? Like say you would hear it on average, like when you ask a, a person, especially Jake. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about uh, the so-called LGBT act, uh, activity or community? <laughs> They will be like, well, I ain't really against it, and I don't really, I don't really, you know, as long as they don't come near me by it, all that shit. So they don't really take a stance on it, you know what I'm saying? But according to the scriptures and according to how Joel was, which is a man of the Lord that feared the heavenly Father, you have to reject evil. You have to reject wickedness, anything that's contrary to the Lord, man. Yep. And when you read it in the GNT, and when you read the account, um, in the same book and chapter that we read in. It says, uh, uh, Job 1 and 1 in the GNTA, it says, there was a man named Job, you go west. It said, living in the land of Uz, who worshiped the heavenly father and was faithful to him. He was a good man, careful not to do anything evil. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's us walking on eggshells, man. Like, bro, our lives literally it just consists of trying to do the right thing, bro. Yep. And that's that's what we want from. That's what the Lord fuck us. That's what the Lord wants from uh, our nation, man. Yep. The Lord don't mind you doing whatever the hell you want to do. Like the Lord know you like you got certain hobbies, you like things and whatever, man. The Lord just wants you to be upright and, and do according to Him. He don't mind you, you know what I'm saying, trying to get some <laughs> some boxing. Yep. You like you know you like you know do a little sip you know what I'm saying and you like chilling and got little activities and you like making music or whatever mm-hmm. he like you can do all that just do it according to the way I want you to do it and right. then good yep you got to say verse two and there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters his substance also was seven thousand sheep and three thousand camels and five hundred yoke of oxen and five hundred she asses and a very great household yep. so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east yep. so joe was winning go ahead yep. verse four and his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them and it was so when the days of their feasting was going about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed the heavenly father in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Yeah, like, you know, and that's, this is, like I said, this, and it's just for, for brothers that do have children and stuff like that. We, you know, because I was speaking to this brother right here, brother got children. Like, we, you know, and the brother Kadash, that's one of the brothers, like, he, he uh, I, I talk to frequently about certain things. Like we, we, if you do have children, you do have to consider that you know, damn, you know what I'm saying. The Lord, what my my children do fear the Lord, and like you got to consider their past lives as well. You know what I'm saying. Like I know it's a hard pill to swallow. You know what I'm saying for, for, for fathers and mothers, but we can't just act like our children are innocent and like they didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying. Even yep. though they are children, we have to understand that they have past lives as well. Yep. So same thing with Job. Job. You know what I'm saying? He, he considered that damn my children. He said, read, read that verse back, all right? Yup, verse 5, it said, And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning. It says, <clears throat> And offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed the Heavenly Father in their hearts. Thus so that, did Job continue. So that, man, come on, man. As a man of the Lord, bro, like you gotta look at any and everything from a spiritual standpoint and you can't be you can't be objected towards it. You can't be like you can't favor a situation just because it's like say, you know, we got family members, right? You you like damn I, I pray to I pray to the Lord, you know, deliver my you know, my mom or whatever. Like that's your mom, so of course you're gonna have a, a affection towards this uh mm-hmm. this person. But this person could be wicked, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of course you don't you know, you don't want that, but you have to con- at least consider it. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be biased and like, well, no, nah, that's my mom. I know she didn't do nothing wrong. No, man, she could very well be wicked or a uh, close family member of yours and the Lord judging them for something that they did. And you can't be biased about it. You just, you got to be objective towards the situation. Like, that's a possibility. Mm-hmm. So it's the, it's the same thing with anything. Like, you got a wife. We got to just consider these things and, and you just got to like, you know, like, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? You got it up. Yep. They said, verse 6, now there was a day when the sons of the Heavenly Father came to present themselves before the Heavenly Father, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth the heavenly father, and is skew of evil? Con. So, man, <clears throat> and this is a side note because people, they have a common misconception about Satan and him doing his own thing. And yeah. Came up against the Lord, the Lord threw him out of heaven and the <laughs> father. You know, that's a common misconception because that's why there's scripture says in the um, book of uh, Matthew in the Lord's Prayer. The Lord said, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yep. You know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because everything in heaven is in order, man. Yep. You see? Okay, and, and Satan is an angel that the Heavenly Father uses you could, you know, to tempt. We can make a left this light. You know, to, to, to tempt individuals to, to, to transgress. Yep. And yep. this was the Heavenly Father using Satan 
to basically try Job, just yep, just like the Heavenly Father used Satan to try each and every one of us daily. You see, so with the example that we read in Job, it's gonna be it's the same thing, man. Yep. You know, oh, right here, right, right here, Salaki. Um, um, it says, um, I'm going to, I'm one house right here. It said, verse nine. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Do if Job fear the heavenly Father for not, you know. So that's where uh, Satan said to the heavenly Father, You think he fear you? For just, yeah. just, just yeah. to fear you yeah. Yeah, for, 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 for no reason. Yep. And it says, uh, verse uh, six: Has not thou made an hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Yep. And when you go into that word hedge, you ain't got to do it. But yep. when you go into that word, it's gonna say a protection. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Job had a protection around him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. It says, um, it says, and about all that he hath on every side. It says, yeah, you can park. You can park up there. It says, uh, thou has blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. Right. You know what I'm saying? So basically, look, the Lord had a bet with with the, the actual spiritual demon Satan. He was like, look, if you if you do if you do all these things to uh, Job. Which uh, Satan was saying that to the Lord. He mm -hmm. like, look, mm -hmm. hey, I, I, I'm bet I wanted to bet Job won't curse you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yep. It says, um, but that's the spirit because we brought the precept out on the line yesterday yeah. about Job and uh, he maintained his way before yeah. him, though yeah. the heavenly father slay him. So that's the type of mentality we gotta have. We gotta have the same mentality as Job. Yep. Because when you continue reading down, it's gonna go into the misfortune that happened unto Job. Yep. You know, dealing with his children. You know, even even this woman, yeah. to the point where she, you know, want him to go go against the heavenly Father, man. Time. You see, but you gotta maintain your integrity. That's the spirit, bro. Cause I was just talking to my little chick, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She said, she said some shit. I said, so what you want me to throw my whole life away for you? Yeah. That's the question that I asked the bitch. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what bitches really want you to, yeah. bitch. You just like the movie, uh, the City of Angels, with uh, what's this nigga name? Um, um, damn, what's this dude name? God damn, I forget his name. Nicholas Cage, yeah. and I forget the chick name. But when you watch the movie, he was basically offered eternal life, yeah. if you will. And this nigga rejected that yeah. shit for a woman. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, man, what you, you think I'm gonna just throw away my whole life for you? Yeah, yeah. You're fucking crazy, man. Yep. You know, it yeah. says verse thirteen. Right, because then, it, then if you say if you do do that, then it, what happens if the chick leave you? Now, exactly. I, I didn't lost. I didn't lost you <laughs> and whatever. <laughs> Shit, I had exactly, <laughs> exactly. Verse twelve, Salaki, and the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. It says, um, I could pause it. All right, yeah, Salaki, um. Mm -hmm. Let me start over. Um, I'm a verse 15. It yep. says, And the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yeah, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Mm -hmm. It said, verse 16, While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of the heavenly Father is fallen from heaven and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. And that's the spirit because this made me think about the misfortune that the Apostle Paul was going through. Yep. And yep. all the misfortune that he went through, he had to maintain his integrity because what? He, he had a, a mission to yep. complete. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He had to fight the fight of faith, right? But, yep. but, but, but it made me think of Paul because Paul was going through shit yep. and he gave the account and testimony yep. to the Corinthians of the things that he was going through, you know, in, in pursuant of the Heavenly Father. Basically, Pursuing the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shah, those are the things that befall uh uh uh, uh Paul. Yep. And it's a common thing dealing with the the, the, the prophets, you know yep. what I'm saying? And and you know, the disciples just the, the men of the Lord, man. Yeah. It's it's a common, it's a reoccurring thing, situations like that happen. Then you got niggas like this with Mother's Day, yeah. balloons <laughs> and shit, it's locking, man. Yeah, you know, but but I'm thinking about Paul because he said that he said, besides that which cometh upon me daily. Yep. You see, cause 
Yeah, you. It, the Lord will put you through some shit every day, bro. Yeah, he will. You know what I'm saying? He will. And the Lord will put you through multiple situations. You know what I'm saying? At once. Yep. So this is the thing that uh, Job was dealing with, man. You know. That's a woman. Wow, yeah. Oh, uh, that's wow. for her girlfriend. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know? So, uh, for, for verse uh, verse 17. Yeah, matter of fact, I got a quick one real quick. All right. Because um, we were just going into, like, basically how, like, the Lord, uh, like, the story of Job and how the Lord was trying Job with these diff different temptations and situations he was placed in. And he was placed in a lot of adversity. And like I said, it's pretty much... um. Like I said, a highlight of what, what we go through as men of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is um, this is uh, Job chapter 10, uh, verse 16. It says, um, it says, matter of fact, I'll start from 15. It says, if I be wicked, woe unto me. Right? So Job was saying if he, if he, if he's wicked, he said, woe unto him, death and destruction unto him. It says, and I will, and I will, if I be righteous, yet will I not lift up my head. I am full of confusion, therefore see thou my affliction. So Job was like, look, either way, if I'm wicked, hey, destroy me, Lord. But if I'm, uh, even if I'm doing righteous, if I'm doing the right thing, he's saying like, look, don't, I'm not going to lift up my head and be proud about me doing like what's right. You know what I'm saying? Because if we, we're doing what we're supposed to do in the scripture about this is our, uh, this is our, uh, uh, um, I forget the wording. I forget the wording, but basically this is, this is what we're supposed to do. You know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. But the uh, verse 16, uh, it says, uh, for it increaseth thou, it, for it increaseth, thou hunt, huntest me as a fierce lion, and again thou showest thyself marvelously upon me, man. So sometimes you do feel like that. I actually mentioned this at camp yesterday. You do feel like the Lord is working against you sometimes, man. Yeah. Even though you're trying to do the right thing, man. Job said the Lord hunts him as a fierce lion, man. Yeah. So you you do feel sometimes that the Lord on your ass, some, sometimes, quote unquote, for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. you might be doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing. Like, you know, we yeah. we here in Babylon, so you got to work. You got to pay your bills. You got to do X, Y, Z. You got to take care of your family if you got one. You know what I'm saying? All these things you're doing. So you might be doing that through the course of your week, and then some shit still fucking go wrong. You're like, man, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So you you would get those, like, situations where you placed in, but you can't uh, use that as an example to turn your back on the Lord. Like, man, I'm doing the right thing. Hey, man, I'm... I'm still yeah, getting punished yeah. to hell with the Lord. Yeah, like, we nah. paying for our past life. Yeah, exactly, bro. You know we sure? paying for the shit that we did, not just in our past life, but in this, in, life. Yeah, in this present life or one of our past lives. Yeah. We was here multiple times throughout uh, throughout the course of uh, life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it could have been some shit you were paying for in your previous life, if not that one, your previous, previous life, and so forth and so on, man. Mm -hmm. And then this is shit that we going to be doing. Like, say, for instance, because the, the Lord knows past, present, and future, you might do some shit tomorrow what the Lord already know about, and he like, nah, I'm gonna just get you for this because I know you about to do this. So it's like, bro, come on, man, you got it. Right? Yeah, and then uh, it's like I said, it was a common thing with a majority of the the the, the, the prophets, you yep. know, the disciples, just the men of the Lord. Yep. Another account that come to mind is uh, dealing with Tobit. Yep. Right, he was a righteous individual, man. He was doing the things that was right in the yep. sight of the heavenly Father, for yep. an example, right. And what happened to Job? I read that story to my son. Them, they know the story of Job because I would I would teach them the story of Job just to give them an example of because you're doing good, the Lord is still fucking yep. he, he still jack you up. Yep. So Job is another prime example. Tobit. I, so, so I can, yeah, yeah. Tobit is another prime example. Yep. You see, because he, he was a righteous man, yep. and the Lord fucking was still putting hell on him. He yep. made losses. He went blind, yeah, bro. Yeah, I just about to say that. Bro. He lost his eyesight on multiple occasions, and one uh, span of time, he lost his eyesight for eight years, bro. That's crazy. You hear what I'm saying? That's so, crazy. what the fuck? We and this was this was this was thousands of years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. men was more <laughs> righteous. Than, yeah, bro. Than we are now. Yep. So how much more did than now, man? Like. And like that's like, like can you imagine going blind for that long, bro? No, I can't. <laughs> and then, then, then you you won't you won't even know like okay, will I ever receive sight again? So no, like, that shit's crazy, bro. Because the one instance when he went blind and the Lord sent uh, Raphael, mm -hmm. um, um, one um, the yeah, one of the archangels, um, to to heal him, mm -hmm. to heal him and Sarah, yep. and he had the you know the the, the, uh, the fish liver and the yep. thing that made the smoke. Uh, where, where he had the uh, gall. the gall, yeah, yeah, that was the gall. And that that's what took away the cataracts yeah. from his from his pupils, man. Yeah. And then he, he he said his eyes began to smart, 
meaning he was basically his, his team was getting clarity. He was receiving clarity. His vision was just it was blurry, and then they started to come together. Yep. You know, um, and another precept I was thinking of in Sirach two and one said, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation." Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be tested, man. You know what I'm saying? And the heavenly Father could test you. He gonna test you in particular ways that he might test me in a way that he might not test yep, true. Just these brothers. Yep, true. You see what I'm saying? Because the, the Lord know how to test each and every one of us, man. Yep. And that's why the Lord did what he did with, because obviously Job cared for his family, his sons and shit. He loved them. That's why he was making them sacrifices continually yep. for him, bro. Yep. Cause they could have did some shit unintentionally to offend the heavenly father. Yep. So the Lord know yep. he love his, he love his children. Yep. He love, he love his, uh, you know, his woman, yep. you know, his nation, his nation. Yep. It says, verse 17, while he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, the child, the Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away. Yet and slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I am only escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in, the, in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and it fell upon the young men and they are dead. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle, shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worship. Right. Did he did he did, did he fucking say, no, hell no. Right, right. Did he get this? Uh, 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 what you call it? Uh, be berating the heavenly yeah. father. Did he get to cussing the Lord out and said, no, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, take me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, motherfuckers be, man. They, you know, because oh, Jake is, uh, uh, you know, Jake is fucking real animated, yeah. you know, especially <laughs> when it comes to the, 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 the loss of a loved one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, no, he said he fucking shaved his head. He was in, he basically went into the house of mourning, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He shaved his head, you know. And he fell upon the ground and worship. It says, and said, naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. So this was his process. This how Job processed the whole situation, the yeah. things that he was going through. He yeah. said, well, shit, I came in this world alone. Yeah. Anyway, and I'm a, yeah. matter of fact, I'm going to see what it's saying in the GNT on this part, bro, right. on verse 21. Um, yeah, I'm going to wonder if you got something too, bro. You can try um, it says, uh, Job, if you want to look up a precept, though, who can use this one? If you want to come to mind, um, Job uh, 1 and 21 in the GNT, it says, uh, <laughs> verse 20 again, he said, then Job got up and tore his clothes in grief. Yep. He shaved his head. Right. Because like you were saying, the emotion is there. Like yeah. me and the brother was speaking before we even started this lesson off. Right. Yeah. And we was, you know, the brother Moore was basically making mention about how emotions is there. Yeah. It's just how you process that, emo yeah. how you, you know. How you channel that emotion? Yes. You know what the, the direction you gonna go in with that emotion because you could go left or you could go right. Yeah. You know. Yep. And like a, another example is that like as much as J brothers like Jake love a woman, yep. let's just say like a situation because we under the curse, especially now. Like your woman, you might find out your woman cheat on you. Your initial reaction is to actually <laughs> like do damage to her, like actually you know want to uh, <laughs> inflict harm on her. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So we knew we living in this system where, you know, you can't necessarily do certain things that's justifiable in the scriptures. Like actually the, the, the law is to put her to death. You know what I'm saying? But let's just say if you wanted to put hands on her because of what she did. Like it wouldn't be wise to do it. So your initial reaction would be that. But you got to be like, you know what? Yeah. Let me refrain from what I'm about to do and just, you know what I'm saying? Handle it a different way. <laughs> so it's like that. That's another example of how the emotion is there. You really want to do something like, you know what I'm saying? But you got to channel it a different way man like we, right. we ultimately man we just got to get out of here man that's really what yeah. it is man because you know uh we can't fully be us you know what i'm saying like we mm -hmm. holding back a lot of uh pent-up aggression and anger and and righteous uh indignation because yep. we in a wicked society you we, we trying to do the right thing but this place everything around it is wicked man yeah, like um, when you, when you watch that movie Bad Boys, <laughs> remember yeah. because that nigga Martin Lawrence, yeah. his character name was Marcus. Yeah. He was going to like therapy and yeah. shit because he had anger <laughs> issues. Remember God, God. that nigga was saying "wusa," that nigga "wusa," yeah. motherfucker, and he back kicked the nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah man, you gotta you gotta "wusa." Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, um, uh, verse twenty, verse twenty-one, Salaki in the GNT. It says, "He said I was born with nothing." 
and I will die with nothing. The Lord gave, and now he has taken away. May his name be praised. You know, so that was Joe's reaction to the fact that he lost his children. Yep. His fucking, they uh, lost his cattle. Yeah. They slain his servants. Yep. All those, you know, uh, 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 all that affliction that was coming upon him, man. Yep. And that was his, uh, his his reaction to the situation, man. Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah, because the thing he did previously, when his brothers read him, he ran his clothes and all that, that, that was an ancient custom. Mm -hmm. to, like, it's an ancient custom and a reaction to... What, uh, what, what uh, individuals did back then, especially our people, when like a sorrowful situation took place, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You would rent your clothes, you would throw the, the ashes of dirt upon your head, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you would pretty much be in a sorrowful state, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got it. It says, um, back in the KJV, and, and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord have taken away. Right, because we, we got to remember, man, don't nothing here belong to us, not even ourselves, our body. This body that the Lord has given us, this don't even belong to us, man. The children that we got, that don't belong to us. Our wives, like, everything belongs to the Lord. So if the Lord wants to take something out of our lives, whether it's a carnal possession, car, or a physical uh, soul, we can't be disgruntled about it, and, you know what I'm saying, and, like, start to curse the Lord for what he done, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord don't make mistakes, man. Yep. The heat does not make mistakes. The Lord is a perfect Cal uh, calculated us uh, entity, man. Yep. So everything he do, it was already written there, man. When a motherfucker is in a car accident, guess what? He got up that morning and went to, you know, went to wherever he was going, and then he didn't, he didn't understand what was happening. But the, the that was the perfect time of the Lord. Just like when people say a stray bullet caught a, a kid, no, bro. Huh. That bullet was meant for that person at that time. He was at the right place at the right time, so forth and so on, man. Yep. Yeah, you got it. You got something. I just want to uh, yeah. say, uh, the scripture said, uh, when deep sleep uh, fall up upon men, yeah. you know, so that just uh, shows you that the Lord is in uh, control of what yeah. direction you go. You yeah. know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So he can lead, he is the father of uh, all spirits, so he yeah. can lead, he can lead you yeah. to your destruction. You yeah. know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He can, you know, that's all. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, the Lord gave and the Lord have taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job sin not, nor charge the heavenly father foolishly. Yep. It says in the KJV, in spite, I'm in the GNTA, in spite of everything that had happened, Job did not sin by blaming God. Come on, man. Yeah. We, we, and I, we was actually, I was going into this on the line as well, bro. Mm -hmm. I literally was saying, like, like sometimes in this in this truth, bro, you can start, if if because if, demons do hop on us, you know what I'm saying? We ain't impervious into them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They do hop on us. Right. But you gotta rebuke it. But I was saying like like basically like you can use sometimes situations that you place in, whether it's you being broke as hell or a situation happened to you or whatever, you can use that as a as a as a like a not an example but as a um a time to like get disgruntled towards the Lord. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, man damn man, I'm doing the right thing but you still right. you know what I'm saying and you and you get start to try to curse the lord but that's when you got to rebuke it yeah you know what I'm saying because we just read and all these things job did not curse the lord man he held his integrity right man, he pretty much just took it for what it was man yeah it kind of charged it to the game baby. yeah that's it right and even our lord and savior Hamashiach yahweh shah he told that to the disciples um when you read the book of matthews the 13th chapter when you're going into the um the uh interpretation of the parable um the Lord said, "What he he used the example. He said, by and by is offended.' Matter of yeah, fact, yeah, that, that, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, let me see if I can get it real quick. Right, because that's usually when individuals get offended with the heavenly Father when the Lord start fucking putting that fire under you. Yeah, and you get offended whether your woman go to prison. Yeah, your children be taken yeah. away from yeah. you, taken out of your custody. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah you got it. I'm you got it. it. Yeah, read yeah. that. Yep. Read, read verse twenty and then read twenty one. And just click on it. Yep. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 20. Yep. It reads, But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon, anon with joy receiveth it. Uh -huh. Keep going. Yeah, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. Mm -hmm. Keep going. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, because of the word, yep. by and by, 
he is offended. Right. So I just wanted to bring that precept out in uh, relations to the situation that happened to Job, because yeah. not necessarily dealing with the word, but of course it's it's, yeah. it's it's still essential to word, of course, you know. But just the situation that Job went through that was that was persecution yeah. from the heavenly Father, right? Yep. So that's where the Lord said, "The meek shall inherit the earth." When you go into the word meek, and um, what is that? Matthew's the fifth chapter. It goes back to the Greek word pros, mm -hmm. right? Which matter of fact, go to it because I want to read a little of the definition because it's on point, bro. You know what I'm saying? With the situation that Job is, is going through, you know, and you supposed to understand that the affliction is anything that people do to you, it, it, it's going to say it better than that. I can't even, I can't even word it properly. Uh, you said Matthew 5. Matthew 5, yeah. We're talking about the meek shall inherit the earth to get the word meek. Yeah. <clears throat> it should go back to the, to the Greek word prize. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah. Not, not, not that one. Not this one. No, yeah, this is it right here. All right, um, this. Uh, you can just read this part where it say thus. Con. It says, uh, this is the word meek. Yep. When you look it up. Um, it says, uh, thus meekness. Towards and it's like it says this like uh half of the definition. We're not reading the entire thing. Just you know, for time's sake, we're just gonna read this point right here. Yeah. Just, just in particular, go ahead. Yeah, they, they call it an excerpt. You know, yeah, yeah, excerpt. yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, uh, thus, meekness toward evil people means knowing Yahweh is permitting the injuries. Hold on, what? Kind. He said, knowing that Yahweh is permitting what? The injuries they afflict. It says that he is using them to purify his elect as fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says and that he will deliver his elect in his name and his time. That's it. That's, that's fire. So yeah. the, the the point why I break this out for yeah. because of the definition and that's how you process when you go through situations. Yeah. You know, it's that whether it's a nigga come up against yeah. you yeah. or and that's easier said than done, bro. Yeah, I can't is. lie. It you is. know, yeah. that's easier said than yeah. done, man. Just just speak it as a man being yeah. honest with myself yeah. you know what i'm saying you yeah. know but that's that's the that's the level that you want to come up on yeah yep, you know? yep you want to you, you you eventually you want to get it because i always go into that word dispassionate you want to get it to a point where you're not um you're not wearing your heart on your on your sleeve so to speak man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you said yeah. what i'm on easily offended yeah, yeah yeah right you know what i'm saying because after a while too and the spirit the spirit will actually be it a hop on you more and more and as you you toil in this work, you know what I'm saying? You just you just learn really just to kind of be cold hearted, man, and and it, to a certain degree, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because we ain't fucking robots, but you do learn to be cold hearted, and you do it, it happen over time where you don't even really notice it, you know what I'm saying? Where you just kind of like I said, a motherfucker, uh, let's just say a, a person because I had that happen before, <laughs> you know, at least twice, you know what I'm saying? A person died in my family, and I ain't even I ain't even go to the funeral, bro, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, hey, man, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right, that's just me. I'm just using myself as an example. Okay, okay. You know I ain't saying that you got to be like that, but I was just to a point where I ain't even give a damn, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's good. just like you have to uh, eventually require uh, acquire that thick skin. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot of more shit that's about to happen, bro. Like we, we are about to enter Jacob's trouble, man, to a point where, hey, brothers next to you might get put in the fucking concentration camp and get beheaded or put to death, man. I was always thinking about the account when Yahweh Shai, when he heard about when uh, John two disciples came to him mm -hmm. and it reported uh, to Yahweh Shai that uh, John got beheaded. You know what I'm saying? I, I I really be wondering like how like how the Lord thought about that. You know what I'm saying? This is his cousin, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. His cousin that you know what I'm saying that was in the truth with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was a a great honorable man. When he heard about that, he like that, I wonder how he like literally processed that. Like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is this, this is a this is Jake too, man. Like we gotta always keep that in mind. Yahweh Shah, our Lord, he's an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Like so, like you know what I'm saying. He he has certain uh, yeah characteristics that like a I don't want to you know don't take it out of uh, mis uh, you know I don't context. Wanna, yeah, don't mis context, context. But he ha he will have like uh uh like uh replies and characteristics of a regular Jake, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because like, he's an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? So. Like, you know, y'all, your brothers know how Jake is, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain things, like, some shit happened, like, damn, what the fuck, man, you know? You know? Mm -hmm. So, I wonder how he took that, but obviously, he took it, like, well, all right, man, I got to continue on the work. That's that's fucked up. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm, I'm in a sorrowful state that happened, but he didn't stop right there. That's the point. He could have used that as an example, man, all right, fuck it, man, I got to, 
now in the ministry over with y'all. Mm-hmm. But he continued on the work, man. That's how it is with our lives, man. Whatever happened, we gotta continue, man. You got it out. Uh, was it you say you want to read? Yeah, chapter just uh two? so the second chapter uh, verse one, uh yeah, verse one through two. All right, all right. One, yep. one through ten. All right, yep, just Job two and one. It says, uh let's let me read this. Yeah, huh? Bob Sean. It's the book of Job, chapter two and verse one. It reads, again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Right. And that, and this is another thing, too. You always got to remember, Satan is always in the midst, bro. He's all that nigga's there, bro. Yeah, for real, bro. Like, just like how the scripture says, it says in Matthew, the 18th chapter, where two or more are gathered mm-hmm. in my name, God. there I am in the midst of them. So Satan is always here too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why you will notice too, like even when brothers, we congregating with everything, <laughs> you know what I mean? Brothers vibing now, everything going well. Then a, a demon just hop on a brother. Mm-hmm. Well, Satan is, he's, he's there, bro. Mm-hmm. We can't act like he ain't there, bro. He, he's in the midst of, 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 of roaming around the world too, bro. They tell you that in the first chapter we read, you know, you got it out. Verse two, and the Lord said unto Satan, from whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Yeah. And we spoke about this yesterday, too. So this is spirit. Like we were talking about how spirits do hop on people, bro. Mm-hmm. Even brothers, bro. Like mm-hmm. I said, like, you know, brothers having like we having to get together, everything going well. And then next thing you know, a brother just flipping out. You might. And you would notice, brother, what the fuck? Yeah, yep. That'd be that moment where you go, okay, Satan just hopped on the brother. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Remember that happened with, with Peter. You know what I'm saying? When, uh-huh. uh, when the Lord cursed out Peter. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He said, get thee behind me, mm-hmm. Satan. Yeah. It's, yep. The Lord realized Satan, the spiritual demon Satan hopped on Peter at that moment. And he had to rebuke him, man. Yep. So Satan, is he's always there, bro. It don't matter what you do. You know what I'm saying? It, like, no matter where you go, like. You know, you can be at the house with your woman, and then everything y'all vibing, you know, everything going mm-hmm. good. Then the next thing, you just you tripping, man. You're like, what the? F-? You literally like, what the <laughs> hell, man? You know what I'm saying? You y'all, you having a good time, or you might be out and about, you know, everything going good, and then she just get to bugging out. You like, what is going on, man? They the people call them mood swings, but it's yeah. really <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Satan, man. You know it up. Verse three, and the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that fear of the, one that fear of the so like it, one that fear of the Lord and extrueth evil, mm-hmm. and still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him mm-hmm. to destroy him without cause. Yep. Verse Con. four. Yep, Con. So yeah, right. He was he he was righteous. Yeah. It wasn't even, you know. The heavenly father, I'll, I'll say he didn't have a reason to yeah. even do that to Job, yep. you know, without a cause, like you said, yep. you know, it, it's like, it's, it's, that's why I said earlier, it's like, sometimes you be, you be feeling like the Lord working against you, you know what I'm saying, because like, like I said, you have like a routine down pat, you're doing everything that in your daily life where you, you know what I'm saying, you, you so-called doing the right thing, and then some shit happened where you be like, damn, like, what the hell, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. so it's just, it's just really like the Lord just trying us, you know what I'm saying, you got it. <laughs> Verse four, and Satan answered the Lord and said, skin for skin, yeah, all that a man have will he give for his life. Yeah, right, because the first instance in the first chapter, it was like, I would say carnal things or tangible things, you know, family members, loved ones, you know, uh, 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 cattle and shit like that. Possessions. Possessions. But in this instance, Satan was saying, look, let me, let me touch him yeah like his flesh yeah that's why he says skin for skin all that a man have will he give for his life because that's even like uh i forget who said it. i believe it was apostle paul he was t- telling the um with with for church well, i forget yeah. but he said that uh, you have not resisted unto blood mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying meaning what you ain't, you ain't get physically mm-hmm. Harm mm-hmm. for the truth yet. Yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying ain't no nigga come and physically attack mm-hmm. you right. over the truth you know, just thinking about the beloved Abba Bivens, how he lost his life with yeah. them fucking Movies. niggas up in there, up in there, man. Yeah, how they fucking did him, man. Yeah. You know, so that's what Joe's saying. You know, he, he basically tried. He basically persuaded the Lord to let him touch his flesh, bro. Yeah. You know, because that's a that's that's a serious thing right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's even more. <laughs> 
serious and it's more of a of of of, of, of a test. Yeah. If, if you if you lose your child or yeah. your woman or yeah, your yeah. It's, it's different when it's right. your flesh being right. being yeah. tried, man. Yep. Yeah. And you still gotta maintain like yeah. like yeah. your ways according to the Lord. You still gotta do the work and all that. Like that's a hard thing to that's a hard pill to swallow, man. Like some brothers got some brothers got like conditions where like you would damn near like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You would damn near think it's impossible to con- continue on doing the work. And some bro. brothers in some brothers in wheelchairs, you know what I'm saying? Some yeah, brothers bro. blind, you know what I'm saying? They still doing the work. Right. You know exactly, saying? exactly. So imagine you going through a situation like that, bro. That's a hard thing, man. That's a that's a hard thing. You know, the only way you will be able to um, you know, continue is the spirit of the Lord gotta be with you, bro. Yeah. Man, mm-hmm. like being blind for fucking, bro. You you blind for eight years. You can't yeah. even see your children. Yeah, you bro. can't even see your brother. Yeah, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that shit's crazy, bro. Yep. You and then you got you got to read and like the and braille, like braille. Yeah, yeah. You gotta read braille. You know what I'm saying? Or if you got a missing limb, like you know what I'm saying? You back. Like, come on, man. No. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse five, Job two and five. But put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh. And he will curse thee to thy face. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. And that's what basically what Satan said. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, touch his flesh, man. You mm-hmm. know, because that shit is real, bro. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Verse six. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is he is in thine hand, but save his life. Mm-hmm. So went so so went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job with with sores with sore boils mm-hmm. from the soil of his foot until his crown. Right. Mm-hmm. So you you have like like you have a day <laughs> where everything going good, you, your health is in complete uh uh uh, uh, uh it's in complete uh you know uh condition mm-hmm. so to speak, you know what I'm saying? As, as healthy as you can get. Then the, the next morning you wake up with a fucking uh, some shit going Boils on. Boils all right? over yeah, your body. Man. Or you, you know, you you wake up, you know what I'm saying? Now, nah, you, you know, you like, damn, something going on. Then you, you like, man, I got to go to the doctor or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then the doctor diagnose you with whatever. Mm-hmm. You like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Cancer, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Or, damn. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Diabetes, what? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this is this is a real thing that happens, man. You know what I'm saying? Where you, you, you find this day, and then the next fucking day, you, something going on. The Lord sent Satan you know, on It's like, this shit is real, man. You got it, guys. Verse, uh, verse 8. And he took him a a posture, a posture to, to scrape himself withal. Mm-hmm. And he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Doest thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the Most High and die. Yeah, man. So that we're going to end it with that. That's pretty much the point, man. She was, and that's a woman for you, though, man. Because women, they really lack faith, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, you have some women that that are, even in the ancient world, even during the time of Yahweh you have some women that believe and that's going to come back in that same lot. But they just lack faith to a certain yeah, degree, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, like, say say shit going bad in your household and it's looking like it's looking like, um, it's looking like it ain't going to be good, it's looking shaky, your woman tripping, you're like, look, I'm going to take care of it, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything yeah. going to be good. She really don't. She really like doubting you though. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? In your mind, you like, no, nah, I'm gonna make some shit shake, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But in her mind, she like, nigga, until I see some proof, I'm not believing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But in your head, really, men got faith, man. Yeah. Men have faith to a level to where they manifest what they gonna do, man. You know what I'm saying? They like, look, I'm gonna make something happen, whether it's a nigga becoming a famous rapper or. Yeah basketball player <laughs> like joe jackson had to tell uh michael jackson the mom i forget her name Catherine or something mm-hmm. jack jack he said i got a vision <laughs> yeah, I'm him, man. <laughs> in the movie bro remember because yeah, because he went out and basically spent the last of their money on that on the musical yeah. instruments yeah. and the equipment that his son the, 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 the jackson's yeah. needed to yeah. perform and do the shows and shit yeah. and she was like Yo, son, this is shoes, Jackie shoes are uh, down to the soul. It's a whole little bit of this and that. It's a whole little roof and this and that. Uh, it's eight people in this two bedroom house. He had yeah. to tell her, I got a vision. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And that, that, that was spiritual. You yeah, it that. was, yep. Yeah. And I say that to say this because women, they don't have that vision. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They, yep. they don't have vision like men do, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's why his wife was saying the things that. When you read in the GNT, he said, verse 9, his wife said to him, you are still as faithful as ever, aren't you? Yeah. Like, yeah, God yeah, damn. Yeah, she man. thought because because she was, um, 
she was basically going through those yeah. tribulations yeah. along with Job, yep. you know, and she was already mad at the Lord. You feel me? Yeah. She was fucking pissed at the Lord. Yep. The fact that her, because you know, women they have a, a it's a particular type of connection that they have with children. They yeah. grow in their body and they yeah. got the mm -hmm. connection and they yeah. feel how they feel and this yeah. and all that shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can only imagine how she was fucking feeling yeah. about towards the heavenly Father. Yeah. Yo, he said, why don't you curse God and die, nigga? God damn, yeah. you still, nigga, why don't you just curse him and die? Yeah, he fucking up our lives, yeah. don't you see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, right. You got to remember, like, this is, these are, like, you know what I'm saying? These yeah. are, like, Israelite women, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Go ahead, read verse 10. That's it. Uh, Job 2 and 10, but he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women mm -hmm. speaketh. What shall we receive good? It's like, yeah, what? Shall we shall we receive good mm -hmm. at the hand of the Most High, yep. and shall we not receive evil? Uh -huh. And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Right, meaning what? When the Lord is saying good or evil your way, you have to embrace it. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying. You can't try to avoid it. Yep. You know, shit. You just gotta tackle that shit head on. Yep. When you read in the GNT, look what it said. Job answered, "You are talking nonsense." Yeah. When God sends us something good, we welcome it. There you go. How can we complain when he sends us trouble? Come on, man. Even in all this suffering, Job said nothing against the Heavenly Father. Right. Because we, brothers, all the brothers, man, we all have moments when you was up. You know what I'm saying? When you know, <laughs> you, you, you feel like you was winning. You know what I'm saying? You got that new car, new house or whatever. You feel like, you're like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, you riding around, everything good. So it's like if, if that's the case, then you gotta embrace good same way you embrace the bad, man. Yep. The good, the bad, the ugly. You know what I'm yep. saying? And it's even the saying that people say you take the good with the bad. Exactly, it's, bro. It, that's a that's a mantra, bro. That's a yep. saying that people have even in this world today. Yep. Even the regular Joe Smo ass nigga, yep. regular just yep. Jake in the world, they'll say that. Yep. They'll say you take the good with the bad. Yep. Cause that's how it goes. That's the duality. Yep. That's the balance of the Heavenly Father. It ain't all going to be, you know what I'm saying? Peaches and cream. Right. That's why we even then, we had to come down here and fucking be in these chains of darkness, exactly. man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That, that was the balance. Yep. You know? So, yep. with that, man, we pray this with Edify. I want to give all glory on and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, and Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Chachadash, the bond of the city of apostles and the elders of great millstone, who will well, Shalom, Machasala, Bachayor. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.